Hey guys, this is Tony from Good Japan, Bad Japan. I'm in my hospital room where I'll be staying for the next two and a half days. I'm currently waiting for my laser procedure, so they're gonna come any minute and go grab me. It should only take a few minutes. And then uh, next thing you should see is me having lunch, but I thought I'd share this as a before image. So I don't know what I'll look like afterwards. Uh, see you soon. How do my eyes look? Oh, I got come Maybe, maybe you can see. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. So I just got finished with the PDT for about ten minutes. I think they they stuck a needle in me and they put some sort of special liquid or medicine in there in order for this to work. And then for 83 seconds, I, I had this special cap in my eye and I had to keep my eye open for 83 seconds and look directly at this laser. And then I was done. And as you can see, my eyes open, everything's fine. I just, I can't leave this room for a couple days. Now that the procedure is done, I can finally eat lunch. They brought my lunch before the procedure. So this has been sitting cold for what? 40 minutes, an hour, honey? Okay, so this here, this here, if you come in close, this is kare in Japanese, or you say flounder, flounder in English. We've got, looks like some vegetables. What is this? Oolong cha, oolong tea? Mm -hmm. Maybe. And what did you call this? New men. New men? Mm, so, somen. so it's somen. The cold. Somen no. Atakai kedo no tsumetai. Is it cold? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you got your rice. Mm. And then you've got some daikon radish. Takwan. So this this doesn't look like it's a lot of food, but at least it's healthy. Ah, uh, itadakimasu. Let's eat. Hey guys, it's me. So it's Friday and Atsumi has already left for the day. She'll be back tomorrow with some snacks. I figure now is a good time. It's about three in the afternoon. I might as well give you a tour of where I'm trapped until Sunday evening. So let me show you around. Okay, so let's start with this side of the room. As you can see, there is a bookshelf. I guess this is good for long-term stays if you're reading a lot of books. I will not be using it. Here's the bed. This bed is very firm, very firm. And this pillow sounds like it's got a bunch of little marbles in there, so I don't think this is gonna be very comfortable. Uh, You've got the, the call button right here in case of emergency, different lights. Over here you got temperature so I can have it as cool or as warm as I want. If you can look up there, very well ventilated. That is a very large ventilation unit. Okay, got a closet over here, closet for clothes. Now, this here is the light for the bathroom. I'm gonna turn it on. Now look at this. I want you to watch. I'm gonna shut the door. Automatic, pretty cool, huh? Comes with everything. You got your, whoa. No, thank you. Wow, that's loud. Okay, are you done? Are you done? Stop. Okay, you got your emergency call button here. All sorts of settings. Very nice. Got a little sink. 
Oh. There we go. Oh. See that sign right there? It means Soto ni de nai de kudasai. I cannot leave this room. Okay, here's the shower. Whoa. There we go. Nice looking shower. Sink. Hi, Tony. Hair dryer. Okay. <sighs> Got a table. Good for lunch. Now this is a lot more comfortable. When my wife was here, she almost fell asleep on this. It was so comfortable. And this, this feels like a gym mat, but this is actually a lot more comfortable than the bed. And then lastly, I've got a TV. I can watch the Olympics. I've got internet so I can watch Netflix and that's probably what I'll be doing for a while. And then in here, I've got a mini fridge. So I've got some drinks to last me these couple of days. All right, time for round two of hospital food. This is my first dinner in the hospital. I see we've got the same tea again. Got some vegetables, some carrots and some greens. What's this? This, mm, this looks like it's got some tofu in it. Ah, not a huge fan, but I'll eat it. And a, a salad. And what's in here? Soup? Nope, more rice. So where's, where's the meat? Where's the meat? Is this, this veget, vegetarian dinner? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, or maybe that's the meat. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat. Ah, by the way, special note. In this bag are chopsticks and a spork from lunch. So they want me to reuse this for all my meals while I'm here. Hey guys, just to remind you, this is a teaching English in Japan related episode because I've done two so far related to my eyes. I'm a teacher in Japan and this kind of thing can happen to you. But anyway, I did bring an item of the day and that item is Coke Lime. And I didn't pick it because I thought it would taste good. I picked it because it's unique and I want to know if you have this in your home country. So if you do, please comment. And also this is a good time to put in the comments what are some other strange Coke flavors that you've encountered in your home country? Let's crack this open. Okay. So the good news is, is you can taste the lime and it's not overpowering. So this is not as bad as I thought but it's still not gonna motivate me to go to the store and get strawberry Coke. Hey guys, good morning. It's uh, Saturday, it's about 8 a.m. and my breakfast has just arrived, so let me show you what they gave me for breakfast today. When I checked in, they gave me the option. They said, for breakfast, do I want rice or bread? So this is just a big bread roll. They, uh, they, they gave me this strawberry jam so I can use this on my bread. The same tea. I'm assuming this is oolong tea every day. And kind of like a kid's school lunch, I'm getting the carton of milk, the obligatory carton of milk. 
Got a nice looking healthy salad. And in here, I believe this is pear. I had to try it to know for sure, but uh, definitely fruit. And just a, another special note, everything that they bring is wrapped. So they really do a good job of trying to make you feel like the food is safe and not contaminated, I guess. Hi everyone, it's lunchtime. Atsumi's here. So Atsumi brought her own food. Uh, what, what did you bring? Salmon dom. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, a sushi bowl, mm. essentially. Okay, and you brought some fried chicken. Mm. Nice. So here's my lunch for today. If you want to get a close look, we've got some, some meatballs and chicken, me chicken maybe, yeah. and salad. Got some mashed potatoes, got two daikon. This is probably rice. No. No, this is miso soup. Mm. Okay, miso soup. And this is tea, I think, again, same tea. Mm. E every meal. Mm -hmm. And this is the rice. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, this is to just show you that this is now my second lunch. And now here's proof that you're not getting the same lunch every day. They do mix it up a little bit. And just as it always has been, it's, it looks really healthy. All right, guys, it's dinner time. This is dinner number two. It's definitely different than yesterday's dinner. This is shake. This is a really nice fish. So this is actually quite delicious. Now this, I see one baby shrimp in there and some carrots and maybe this is egg, but um, I'm sure it's delicious and healthy. Presentation, I'm not so sure. Same, looks like the same oolong tea or drink as before. They've been very consistent with this. I am a little scared of what this is. Does anybody know? Please, please comment. But this looks maybe sour or bitter and I'm afraid, but it's a vegetable and I'm sure it's healthy. And anyone care to bet that this is rice? Let's take a look. Come on, rice. <gasps> yep, it's rice again. Okay. So this is my dinner, itadakimasu. All right guys, it's Sunday, it's my last breakfast. Let's see what we got again. Breakfast, more milk, milk carton. Got some vegetables here. Looks like some green beans and some carrots. Now, I, I still think that this is maybe some tea, but it's the same thing every time. I've got some orange slices. This looks like it came from a can. And I've got two slices of bread. And once again, we've got some strawberry jam to go on that bread. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. See you later. Okay guys, so you just saw breakfast on my last day here. I've got about nine hours to go and then I can officially check out. Just a couple of things because I'm not sure if I mentioned them up to this point. First is in this room, I don't know if I showed it, but there is a hot water kettle. So even though there's no water dispenser in the room, and yes, you can bring bottles of water or have someone bring you bottles of water, like friends or family. I believe your water source is going to be from the bathroom tap and then you just have to boil it. So they recommend, uh, and that supply list that I showed you in a previous video, they want you to bring your own canteen or cup. So I just, in my head, I'm thinking, 
if you need consistent water, you have to boil it and you either put it in the fridge or you drink it hot. Uh, second thing is, is that the TV in this room has an HDMI port. I don't know that I mentioned that, but I'm going to be back in here in one month to take care of my left eye. So I am going to bring my PlayStation 4 next time and just play Skyrim for 72 hours and then I'll be in and out of here before I know it. Uh, next thing I want to mention is yesterday afternoon while my wife was here, the clerk or whoever it is responsible for collecting payment for the procedure came because that person doesn't work on Sundays. So the final total all told was 140,000 yen. So I'm thinking in my head this is about $1,250 American. Now, I mentioned in the previous video that there's a form uh, that you could fill out and get a discount provided that you pay enough money up front. So we were told that in about 10 days, we're gonna get the official invoice from here that we can take. And instead of mailing it, instead of filling out a form, we can just take the document we get from the hospital to whatever business handles this rebate or refund and just get that process directly. So it may take about a month before we know for sure how much the discount is and see it return to our bank account, but I'll be sure to let you know how big that refund is. And then the last thing is that Yesterday, the doctor came to check up on me and he said with, with a PDT, with this type of procedure, that the fast people will see results in their eye within about four to five days. People who are a little bit slower, it might take a week or two to see the result. But I've, I'm on schedule to where in three weeks, I'm coming back to get my right eye checked to see that improvement and because we know the left eye is going through something similar now, like it's just, it's, it's newer in its accumulation of water and causing the same problem. What I'm getting at is, if there is noticeable improvement in this eye, then we know the same procedure will work for this eye. And we're gonna get proof of that in three weeks. And I'm on schedule in four weeks to come back here and sit here for two and a half days and do it all over again. A couple of other notes. The actual procedure, if I didn't fully mention it, I know I showed my arm at the beginning, but they pump you full of drugs for the first 10 minutes. It's a special drug that you need for the procedure. Then you've got to let it sit for about five minutes. And then the doctor puts a, a little cap in your eye and that's where the laser gets shot through. And you have to keep your eye open for 83 seconds. So I was wrong, it wasn't 82, it was 83 seconds. And what was really nice is that the nurse next to the doctor was counting down the whole time. So every 10 seconds, so she'd be like, hachi jubyo, nana jubyo, roku jubyo, 80 seconds, 70 seconds, 60 seconds. So each time I'm telling myself, okay, I can do this without blinking because I'm getting closer and closer to the finish. And when you're looking through that lens, it's almost like you're staring into the corona of the sun. And so it's just feels bright. Uh, there's no pain whatsoever. And then it was done, done before I knew it. And uh, uh, just Nurse comes by in the evening, checks up on you, make sure everything's okay, make sure your arm's not swollen. And what's really, really interesting is that the door in this room, they say, you know, don't lock it. And 
at 11, about 11.30 p.m. last night, I was just falling asleep. I heard a little knock on the door. Door slides open, and then the door slides shut. And that's because they told me that during the night, while I'm sleeping, they were gonna check up on me just to make sure that I'm in here, that I'm alive. All right, everybody, it's time for my last lunch in the hospital. Same drink. We've got daikon radish. Let's take a look here. This looks like maybe ham and a potato, maybe. I'm not sure what this is, but looks like meat and vegetables. Got a salad and Gosh, what is that? Maybe egg? Okay, how much you wanna bet? We've got rice and miso soup. What's in this one? Take a guess, miso soup or rice? Or, let's see. Mm, I'm gonna say rice. Oh, I'm wrong, it's miso. With a lot of seaweed. And, oh, there's the rice. Okay, let's eat. Let's go ahead. Itadakimasu. Hey guys, this is my last meal. This is dinner. Also, you can see I'm wearing long sleeves and I'm wearing uh, track pants because my skin is going to be very light sensitive and so the nurses have recommended that I, I wear longer clothing. But let's let's take a look at this last meal. Uh, honey, what did you get? Oyakudon. Oyakudon? What is oyakudon? So chicken and egg. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, so I've got... What's this? This just looks like green vegetables. Komatsu? Komatsu. Okay. And this looks like what? Potato and shrimp? Or daikon, maybe? Okay. And this is cabbage? And one carrot? And this is maybe thin sliced beef? Yeah? And let me guess, rice? Rice, Dani. Oh, it's rice. <laughs> <laughs> the big container is always rice. And then same drink as always. Okay, last meal. Itadakimasu. Okay. All right, this is it. It's finally time to check out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.